Hello and welcome back to Orchid Saga. So yeah, today I did have a, a little bit of an unusual repotting video for you guys. We're going to repot my Miltonia Spectabile uh, Ro Morliana Variety Royalty <laughs> on top of my head. <laughs> so I hope I uh, did uh, catch the name. It isn't any of these plants, of course. But um, yeah, I was busy working with my Miltonias. Uh, and I thought, yeah, I should have filmed this. This is so beautiful. Beautiful things are happening. So uh, I don't have it as usual, but I have some footage that I really would like to share with you guys just to have a, a idea uh, from how we are going to grow on these plants because we ended up with more plants than I uh, originally had in mind. So let's start this uh, update on the Miltonia. Spectabiles Royal Morliana variety more more the something like that. <laughs> so yeah, one of these uh, Morlianas, Spectabilis Morlianas, did came out of this uh, shape pot, a very large one. It was in growing two directions, but it also did grew over the sides of the pot, so I needed to get it out. And I wasn't planning on filming uh, filming it, but because it's, it's taking too much, too much time, but I did just divided it in two parts, but it, it's just having so incredibly much roots. It just was completely covering the pot, as you can see. And so far, as far as I can see, at least most of them do uh, look very healthy, healthy roots. So I just cut it in the middle <laughs> and look at this. So many, many roots. This one is doing phenomenally well. And I see quite a lot of new growths as well, as you can see. Most of them, per bulb, they're making uh, two new growths, so it's multiplying like uh, crazy. But we don't mind because the blooms are stunning. And I thought, well, you know what? I have two uh, pieces. Uh, I had two pieces of these uh, Morellianas. So I thought, well, let's uh, take them out and the other one as well and put them all in one of uh, these buckets that I uh, recently bought. So make it one plant again. But you can see only one piece is already almost filling up the bucket. So that plant is, <laughs> did change a little bit. Uh, luckily I have two of these uh, beautiful uh, buckets. They're nicely shaped, so I, uh, I'm, I'm going to put them uh, each in one of those. And uh, because otherwise I don't have the room anymore, but I was impressed about, uh, about uh, the root system. I, I was expecting quite some roots because it's just doing so wonderfully well. It's blooming like crazy and making new growth, but this much I had no idea. So I just wanted to show you before it does get uh, filled up with uh, media again. And I had it in uh, Lekka, pumice, basically everything that I had laying around. Some Cintiq, which I do not use anymore because it doesn't need it anymore. But you can see it's doing very well. Beautiful, healthy roots. So yeah, I'm going to put them up and then we, uh, we will have a look at them again. Oh, and of course, before I'm going to continue, uh, this is an empty bucket, as you can see. I put two holes in it, so basically I'm uh, putting this uh, into self-watering again. But uh, uh, semi-hydroponic, I'm sorry, it wasn't self-watering, but it's basically the same. I'm going to use the small uh, pumice combined with the larger pumice. And I'm not only going to use one, because this might get a little bit too compact, so with uh, to less air, you saw the Cintiq in there, so that it didn't have that much air, but uh, around uh, the roots I had more uh, pumice than Cintiq, and it really enjoyed that, as you can see. <laughs> but uh, this may give it a little too less air, this may be give it a little, a little too much air, because it's a fine rooted orchid, not a thick, but a fine rooted orchid. So I co combine the, uh, the two. First I'm going to put in a layer, put an orchid in, and then I'm going uh, to fill up uh, around the orchids. So I thought that will uh, probably, are a few people that at least want to know that. And while I'm at it, I have here the brand you can see. This is the large pumice. And it's called Valda, something Valda. 
The Y isn't showing it, it's only premium substrate, yes. That's strange. It's called Falda. If I don't forget, I will put a link in so you can check it. But I don't see it on the uh, bag itself. Maybe it was in the description, but I, I think that's the, uh, the brand name. So that's what I'm using. And I found these bags with the larger and the smallest, the same type of bags, just in the garden center at your pond uh, supplies. So for your, uh, yeah, your pond growing uh, plants, as you can see, they use it as a substrate for that, and that's the pumice. And it's way cheaper to buy it this way than from a bonsai store or orchid store. It's way, way cheaper. So, uh, and we like cheap, of course. <laughs> so before we're going to look at the uh, second part of this plant, I just wanted to show you, this. these are the back bulbs that I did uh, cut off. But look at that. How many uh, healthy roots are on here? And this one was uh, also infected with uh, Fusarium, so this one is also in my Fusarium videos, but yeah, I think it is recovered from it. Doing so well. So yeah, I could grow this on you guys, but I have now three very, very big pieces <laughs> of the Moroyana royalty, Spectabilis. I'm saying that in the wrong, wrong order, um, but anyhow. So yeah, I just want to show you. And we have some old media, some roots that I did break off. As you can see, they weren't dead at all, but I needed to sacrifice some roots. <laughs> but yeah, that's okay, because see, as we saw, it has a heck of a lot of roots. To be honest, I think this orchid my, may have the most roots so far on an orchid that I ever uh, saw in my collection. But um, yeah. So let's uh, continue. I uh, just, um, the first piece, the biggest piece actually, I found. Um, I just did give it a flush. So that one is uh, now done draining, so it will uh, be ready for the greenhouse. And I just uparted this one. As you can see, this one is the second part, it's a little bit smaller. And I did cut the back bulbs from here. And yeah, it does show some color still. Uh, but it doesn't look very active to me, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to leave it, because it's, like I said, it's doing so well. We have a new growth here, and there are new growths. More new growths. More. Yes, we have more over here and there. <laughs> and as you can see, a heck of a lot of roots still visible, but those will find their way into the media. So yeah, I think it's, at least at this part it has a few more years to grow. I don't know what these guys will do, but if I see that they will grow like this, I try to train them to grow inside of the pot. And then I hope I uh, don't have to repot this one for years. The last time I did repot it, I saw my tag, let me go here, it was in uh, 2019, as you can see. So it's been in been in there for uh, for about three years now and become a quite a plant so I'm going to flush the other one as well and then I will put them back on the shelf where they uh, seem to enjoy growing very well and we will have a look at all three of them because I already have a uh, part there of this plant of course <laughs> so when I'm uh, done uh, repotting I always put my uh, orchids uh, into uh, their place or sometimes their new place at this time it was in, inside of the greenhouse and then I come back and I first start cleaning I, I'm not saying that I'm extreme, extremely clean as you can see I have some leaves on the floor etc but that's something I really like to do just cleaning up first and then I'm going back and really enjoy that I finished a repot because maybe you did hear me say it but I really hate repotting I really hate disturbing my, my plants you may um, not think that if you saw some videos because it can can be sometimes very brutal with a uh, that was by the Saigo or new plants. I do like to repot quite quite quickly if I can, just to get it over with, and then uh, 
when the job is done, I like to clean up. I use my alcohol. I uh, uh, use it on the tools, the scissors and the clippers in, uh, in this case, just to uh, sterilize them and get them ready for probably a next time. And uh, so yeah, that's a, a little bit what I, uh, what I do. And uh, so yeah, we do not like to repot and I am happy when the job is done. So I think these guys look amazing. Let's, uh, let's have a look. You probably, if you're long on my channel, you know where the, they live. They live in this Miltonia area. I have most of my Miltonias here, a few over there, um, because I didn't have the space, I think. Yeah, I think the Twinkles uh, did like it a little bit more here. I had them there, so that's why I switched them. But the, the uh, Morellanas, Spectalia Morelliana, are, uh, we just did repots, are here. This is the first one, as you can see, which has still some blooms on. And the other one I did cut the bloom spikes off because that one is, was finished. And like I said, I have a third one. Can you believe it? This one, <laughs> this one should have a repot as well. So yeah, back in 2019, I bought one plant. It was, I thought it was infected with fusarium because it didn't look well. I cut the bulbs. I had four parts of this plant. I did give two away and I did grew two on on my arm and look at this now it's the same plan you guys that's why i thought well let's put all three in one of this pot <laughs> oh yeah that's that didn't uh, go as planned as you can see they were way bigger than i i, I thought and that i had in mind but as soon as i stepped into the gray, grow um, in the greenhouse i was like yeah this is not going to work so yeah, this one is in a round pot as well. As you can see, it's hanging all over the pot. Um, could use a repot pretty soon, but I don't know when and I don't know how, because I don't have more of these pots. So I first need to find a new home for this one. But yeah, they are doing so well and they are so beautiful. The blooms are stunning. So yeah, this was a little bit of different uh, repot than I usually do because things did uh, go as planned in this case. But I hope you enjoyed this video uh, anyhow. Thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.